We start over again each time we have a new kid. Everybody wants to come and see the baby. I always had felt like I needed to take care of children. I am Denise Strippel, and I'm from the Bethel United Methodist Church in Bethel, Ohio. Uh, my husband, Mark, and I have been foster parents for 23 years, and what started as a personal uh, pursuit has turned into a church-wide ministry of foster and adoption support. You always get attached. I mean, that's part of the fun and part of the sadness. Um, to, to be a parent, you have to love your child. It is hard, you know, that you've got them out. You've got them on the right foot. They can get out there and, and you know they're going to a good home. Twelve years ago, the Strimples introduced Linda and Terry DeVore to a child who would complete their family. I remember like when I was little, like they have a barn outside of their house and I would always go play with the kittens. I think Terry fell in love. He would see her running around and he'd just kind of follow her around. And She was like a little lightning bolt. She just, from one end of the church to the other and she was so cute. And she turned around and the first thing she did was put her hand on my face, just as soft and as sweet as could be, and she just gave me this huge smile. And that was it. Having family means like you'll feel safer. I think it's important for the, the church to be involved in the adoption ministry because the church is all about family. It's about love. The Strimples say the number of kids in their area in need of foster care has tripled in the last two decades. They're grateful to their United Methodist Church family for helping children find forever homes. The Joy of Adoption service is held to celebrate families where children have been fully adopted into forever families. This year, the thought of 46 children and 24 families and the lives that will be reshaped and how that branches out into other into the uh, larger community. Any church can do it. If you have a group of foster parents and, and adoptive parents that are there, uh, they should rally around them and, and build on that and find ways to support children that need help. That's a God thing right there. We become, in a sense, the hands and the feet and the heart of Christ extended toward these children. This video was brought to you by the people of the United Methodist Church through world service donations.